YouTube and welcome to your seventh video tutorial series of the After Effects tutorial lessons. So now today we're going to uh, cover up some uh, basics about comp, composition and pre-composition, which is uh, pretty helpful for most of the anima uh, animating situations. So now uh, you, uh, you probably remember me right clicking on the, on the uh, project window for the new composition, right? So now let me just click on new composition and you can see some of the effects over here. That is, uh, I can select the presets and so forth. I can also set the time duration and so forth. But compositions, however, have much more uh, to it than just this. So let's say I have a standard composition right over here and I want to add in some animations. Let me just say I want to add in text animations, for example, let me just say, um, I'm going to uh, write a tutor tube, of course. Let me write it like this now. And I can center line it and then move it around. All right. So I might have a lot of uh, layers just like that. So I might have this as tutor tube. Let's say I'm going to resize this. I'm going to duplicate this. Controls, uh, control D, control D, 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 D. Okay. So I might have different versions of this. And as you can see, I got a lot of layers now. So now maybe I want to control them all together. Of course I can do that with the null object and everything. But now what I want to do is I want to group them together. So I can also add in some animations over here. Let's say, uh, let me just add an animation from this one. Okay. So now the shortcut, there are shortcut keys to actually access some of the uh, settings over here. So if I were to press P on my keyboard, if I press P, then I can actually uh, toggle on the position key over here. So I'm going to click on position. One second, it goes over here. All right. So it seems like that's another layer. Anyways, I'm going to do this. Okay, so this is the layer right here. So I'm going to move this out here. Then it comes down. This is just a random animation that I'm doing. All right, so this is my keyframes for this. Uh, tutor tube right here. I'm going to select this one, press P, and then add in some keyframes as well. So I'm going to press this one, drag it out, drag it in, and drag it again. Okay, so for this one, for this one, this one, and this one. All right, so this one, maybe I have a lot of uh, those layers. Just, just for the previous sake, I'm going to delete all of these and just have three over there so that I don't have to like go around or too much. Okay, position, uh, drag it around and drag it around. So this is my animation I have in right here. So I got tutor tube text moving uh, here and there all around. So I can enable the motion blur, of course, to make it seem much more better than on the motion blur, of course. You can see uh, the smooth motion over there. Okay, so now I have my animation and what I want to do is I want to group them all together and let's say I want, I want to have a bunch of these all together. So what I can do is I can simply press P to um, minimize that, right click on it and I can select an option called pre-compose right here. I can also do this or let me just say I can go to composition and um, okay, it's not over here, it's under layers. Uh, tab and under here you can see pre-composition right here. So I can right click over here and select pre-composition or pre-compose right from here. So I'm going to pre-compose and you can see I can leave all the attributes in compound. In, in case you have effects you might um, be uh, uh, you might be able to choose this as well. Since I don't have any, uh, any effects for that I'm going to choose move, move all attributes into new composition and I can rename the composition as well. So I can say uh, tutor tube animations and press OK. So now it's actually pre -com. And once I do that, you can actually see that it actually make, made another composition just for me um, uh, with the name I selected for pre, pre -com. So now uh, if I were to double click this, you can see that I can move around and make changes to the animation. Uh, and if I were to go to the composition one, then it has a grouped version of the same animation right here. So I can even resize this. Let's say I want to keep this here at the top and you can see the animations are all there. Now the beautiful thing about this is it works exactly like a video layer, like a separate video layer. So I can duplicate this, uh, control D, control D, control D, all right. So I can make multiple copies of this, right. As you can see, I have multiple copies of this 
and they all have animations in them. So that is beautiful. I can simply, okay, let me just duplicate all of these, drag it around, right? Drag it around. So I can have a multiple of these actually and have awesome animation right here. Okay, so it just um, um, is useful for crazy backgrounds, of course. Again, now what I can do is I can pre-compose these. Now I can uh, pre-compose, select right click, pre-compose. Now I, I have pre-composition of pre-composition. And as I do that, you can actually see another composition being made right here. So now I can drag this around. Again, I can do this. Let's say I want to have tiny pre-composition right here. Drag this around over here. Control D. This around over here, select all, select D, D. Okay, so I have a bunch of layers, some small animating layers over there. And maybe I want another, oh, sorry. Okay, I want to have this uh, one right here, big, just like this. And then again, D, at that one a bit bigger okay so i i'm i'm going to have a crazy animation right here so you can see that everything is being animated i got like different text sizes and so forth and this can be useful some for some cool effects just like that so i'm going to add in some of uh, the other effects uh, for some cooler look so what i'm going to do is uh, maybe i want to go into the main composition right here which just has these three uh, layers right here. Now I can maybe change the color of this so I can go over to color and then just choose a different color for this. Maybe, uh, okay, I'm going to choose yellow and maybe just choose blue. And for this, I'm going to choose green. Okay, so I'm going to choose green for this one. And as I do that and I come back to composition, you can actually see that everything has changed. Um, this is because uh, the main, the composition is actually linked with the main composition right here. So let me just do this once again. I'm going to uh, press on shift D and for scale, it's S. The key is S. I can simply scale it up just like that. All right. And maybe I want to add in some um, depth effect. So let me add in a blur effect right here. I'm going to go over here. And let me say blur. There's my Gaussian blur. I want to add in my Gaussian blur. It takes less processing time. Increase the blur. All right. So now that is a cool effect. Okay. So now I can do that. Uh, do it for this. Uh, do it same uh, with the other layers as well. Maybe I want it not with these layers. Uh, with the layers a bit in front now as I did not manage it much So it is actually confusing so I can turn off the layers and find out which one I'm looking for It's the one no. Yeah, this is the one so I'm going to add in Gaussian blur onto this one as well increase the blur size Just a bit to get the feel of depth All right, so I got the blurred effect and a clear effect uh, all right there Let me just do that not the background, it's the background, okay, this is the one, okay, add in some Gaussian blur over here as well, and increase the blur size, all right. So now it actually seems like an effect, uh, as if like um, the, this is really close to me and so forth. So just to add in a touch, uh, let me add in some gradient at the background. So now if I am overwhelmed by all these layers, what I can do is I can simply pre-comp these again. So it does not matter how many times you pre-comp it. So now I have this and for the background, I'm going to choose new. Uh, let me add in a solid maybe, no, maybe not the solid. Okay. Yeah, solid. Okay, so solid will do it. So now solid, let me add in a different color this time. Maybe uh, purple. Okay. Let me add in this one, the bottom. Okay, that's too much, I guess. I want to change the color of it. Okay, so solid settings. I'm going to change the color of it. Maybe a darker tone will do it. Okay, darker tone, that's it. 
let me add in some right click um, layer styles no no uh, layer styles in a shadow all right so in a shadow increase the size of it all right so i get a gradient like effect and again on second thought i want effect on this one as well so i'm going to right click layer style add in some drop shadow so i get some shadows on all of the effects so i'm going to uh, go with the drop shadow on the pre-comp as, as you can see i added in the effect on the pre-comp this does not necessarily add the uh, effect to the main window but here i have the effect so what i can do is i can increase the size of it or i can uh, increase the distance a bit so you can see the distance of the shadows as well okay that kind of looks cool isn't it all right so now i'm finally going to render this out so that you can see how cool it is now i do not really have my animation till the end so i can actually crop some of the areas maybe like i'm going to drag this over here till four seconds uh right click over here and then i'm going to say trim comp to work area so now i just have four seconds of footage right here so now i'm going to ex export it so let me go to uh if uh let me just go to um uh, composition one file export at render queue uh again i do not have any audio so i do not have to use any audio so turn it off is this okay oh okay this got to be changed it's avi to quick time format options as dot 264 now that's okay then I'm going to save this on to, 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 to uh, tutorial 7. Okay. Save it. Render. Okay. And we're done. So I'm going to go over to the file folder, the tutorial to, to drive. And this is how it looks. And looks cool. Maybe I should have added in some Asian over there. So you get these kind of cool effects uh, with pre-com. And this is just... Um, a few feature of After Effects, a very um, few limitation of what After Effects can do. So you can use pre-comp for a lot of different things. You can do it with videos, uh, uh, even with other layers or any kind of things that you uh, actually imagine. So if you want to have a lot of animations over there uh, or just copy some animations, then you can simply use uh, pre-comp. So this is it for this lesson. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Please. Do share, subscribe, like, and comment.